Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we're gonna talk about vertex painting, which is a really important subject in the textural and the materials world because it's really you can create a really complex and realistic effects using materials. Uh, vertex painting we can use the vertex of a model and then uh, with those vertex as reference we can blend between two or more textures so we can create uh, for instance, uh, we're gonna create here in the course a wall, a brick wall, and you have some plaster and also you can have some moss and things like that. And you can paint uh, these textures over another texture and then create this blend material and create really cool effects uh, with this technique. Yeah, so let's get started. The first thing that we need to do, uh, I create another stand and we need to create, uh, I'm gonna create a plane, but I'm gonna go here in modeling, but we need to create a plane. So I'm gonna use this rectangle. Uh, the size is fine, but uh, we need to change here the subdivision uh, to 50, or we can put, put like 20, 50, 100, but we need to have these divisions because we need to have vertex on the, in this surface, otherwise the technique won't work because you won't have enough vertex to blend the texture between one and the other texture, so that won't work. I put 50 just because with 50, uh, this size we can generate really good results, but yeah, try to use a, a value uh, similar to this one and probably you'll be fine. So I'm gonna hit accept. And first we're gonna create a example material. Create a new folder over here. The vertex painting. Then I'm gonna open. I'm gonna here create a new material. So how can we create this vertex painting technique? We need a few textures first. I'm gonna drag and drop a few textures. Go here, surface. Is this brick ball? It could be nice. You have some. I think this one would be nice too. It's a, a plaster. And then okay, we can start with uh, these two two textures. I'm gonna organize a little bit. Okay, first we need to create a few texture coordinates. Go here, texture coordinates. And then I'm gonna create a parameter. Texture scale. Multiply. We're going to start simple. We're gonna keep uh, this texture coordinate the same for both of these textures, but you can create another texture coordinate to change the scale individually for, for each material if you want. You need to go here and put in the UVs. And now let's start the cool part. So I need to introduce you a new node called Height Lerp. It, this node will be responsible to create this effect first thing so we have a and b so the a and b is the two texture that you want to blend so i'm gonna choose this one the b and this one to the a and to b nice i need to organize this slightly different and then I need to go we put here in the base color and I need to do that for the normals as well. You need to put the exactly same material in the A and the B for the base color and the normal. That's not the normal, this one is the normal. And you need to do the same thing for the roughness and beach occlusion, but I'm gonna do just with the roughness this one and then this one and the result will be the roughness okay you have a error right now 
but that's expected because you you need a few other inputs here the thing that we need to we need to a high texture the high texture will be our displacement texture so you need a displacement texture in order that this high alert uh, works and this displacement texture will help to create a more realistic blend between the two textures so we're gonna use the main material type map so the displacement is seen in the B of the ORD map okay now it's not complaining anymore but we can create also um, a contrast we have contrast the contrast to be uh, how the, the contrast between the two uh, materials that we are blending with so here we're gonna put the contrast as well and then I need to use the high texture same here and now so we need to put the contrast over here as well and now they are not complaining anymore okay guys uh, we are almost there it's a little bit messy I'm gonna create a reroute node here node gonna be our contrast okay so we have the two textures yeah it's uh, a little bit better less cross wired let's keep it this way just now and now we have another input and that's the most important one that's the transition phase which is the node that really make the vertex uh, works which is the vertex color in the vertex color we have uh, the four channels and you can use each channel for a different material uh, so far you're just using one transition so i use the red channel And also going to create a reroute node if it, I think it would be more interesting, more, more organized. So we're going to vertex color red, because if I want to create another vertex color green, so we're going to be another material, be easier to understand. And you have vertex color red. I'm going to go here, red. Then I need to do the same thing for each high lerp node. Okay, now we're gonna hit apply. Um, you see, uh, when you're using the our vertex color red, uh, our material change for the placer instead of the bricks. And if you want the placer be the first material, it's fine. But if you want to invert. We just need to invert the textures over here so i need to put the placer in the a and the bricks in the b and i need to do the same thing for each of the maps and this the b and then i'm gonna hit apply and now as you can see we have our brick material and if I hold shift and left mouse button and start to drag and paint the plaster in our brick and the effect is really cool so we have a, a fall off and it seems seems very natural if you just left mouse button and drag, you're gonna paint the brick. And if you hold shift, you're gonna paint the placer. Also, if you're going here, you have this contrast. So let's increase the contrast to see what happens. And the contrast is the blend, uh, how smooth the blend between the two materials will be. So if I increase this contrast to 10 and hit apply you don't have much of fall off you don't have a transition it's a really hard transition between one material and other 
and however if I decrease this value to 0.5 and hit apply we have a transition we have a much smoother transition between the two materials and depending the material that you're using you're gonna go increase the contrast or decrease the contrast to achieve uh, better results uh, that really depends the kind of material that you are using for and that's it for this video guys and uh, now you have you know a, a really nice uh, tool uh, to use with your materials and in the next video we're gonna go uh, a step further and uh, incorporate this vertex painting directly in a master material in a material instance and also let's create another uh, material option to use three materials instead of two materials so uh, see you in the next video and thank you for watching